en question. Le président, Le président please be seated. veuillez vous asseoir. The court is now in session. L'audience est ouverte. During today's session, an Asia Jewel to the Chamber is hearing the testimony of TCW la chambre entendra la déposition du témoin TCW386. Mr. Dukpari, can you report Monsieur to the Duke chamber Paris, the current status of the parties to the proceedings sur la présence and parties, parties concerned? Et autres personnes. Dutch Perry, Mr. President, Duke for Paris. today's proceeding, Monsieur all parties to this case are present. Les sont présentes. On the side, note, Nunchi is present in Nunchia the holding cell downstairs. Dans la cellule temporaire it is pursuant to the decision of the trial chamber, la chamber concerning his health. Compte tenu de son état de santé. The National lead co-lawyer for civil parties is absent Le due to his personal business. Pour les As civiles, est reported absent by the president, that today we will hear the testimony of a witness TCW386. This witness has Mom Ruti as a duty counsel. We also have a reserve witness, that is TCW386. 689. Il y a également comme témoin de réserve this TCW 689, this lequel morning. a prêté serment ce matin. The witness also confirms that Le témoin the witness a has no relationship with any of the two accused, no G or accused in porn, que ce soit avec by blood or by law, law and through the best knowledge, this witness has no relationship with any of the civil parties recognized in this case. De parenté par alliance Thank you, Mr. Par le President. Merci, Monsieur le President. President, thank you. Le président. Court officer, could you advise the witness and the duty counsel into the courtroom? Le témoin et son avocat.
Le président, bonjour monsieur le témoin, comment vous appelez-vous Witness, le my name is Leo Lam. Je m'appelle Leo Lam. Chinang. Je viens de Kampong Chinang. Thank you. Le How old are you, Mr. Leo Lam? Quel âge avez-vous, Monsieur Leo Lam? Answer: Réponse. I am 58 years old. J'ai 58 ans. Question. Where is your current address? Question. Où résidez-vous actuellement? Answer. I live in Sankai village, au village de Chrak Sankai, commune, commune de Svai Chuk, Samaki Minche district, district de Samaki Minche province. province de Kampong Chnang. What is your current Question. occupation? Quel est votre métier actuel? Answer. Réponse. I am a rice farmer. Je suis riziculteur. Question. What Question. is your father's name? Comment s'appelle votre Answer. père? Réponse. My father's name is Pring Lev. Pring Lev. Question. And Question. your mother's name? Et comment s'appelle votre mère? Answer. Réponse. Her name is Noon Sam. Noon Sam. Question. And your wife's names and how many children Comment s'appelle votre épouse et combien d'enfants avez-vous Réponse. My wife's name Mon épouse s'appelle Nou et nous avons dix enfants. Preston, thank you. And Mr. Levlam as reported Merci. by the Greffier to the best of your knowledge, you have no relationship by blood or by law through parenté, any of the civil parties in this case, nor through any of the two accused. accused. There is no G and Q Samphorn, and that you already took an oath. Is this in your information to the Greffier to the best of your knowledge? Is this information correct? Yes, bien exact. Answer: Yes, I already took an oath. J'ai prêté serment. Question: Are you related by blood or by law to any of the civil parties or any of the true accused or guilty? Avez-vous un lien de parenté par le sang ou par alliance avec une partie civile ou un accusé? Answer. I am not related to any of them. I do not know them. Je n'ai aucun lien de parenté avec qui que ce soit. Je ne connais pas ces personnes. Thank you. We would like now to inform you of your rights and obligations before this chamber. Mr. Levlam, as a witness appearing before this chamber, Mr. Levlam, as a witness appearing before this chamber, Mr. Levlam, as a witness appearing before this chamber, Mr. Levlam, as a witness appearing before this chamber, Mr. Levlam, as a witness appearing before this chamber, Mr. Levlam, as a witness appearing before this chamber, Mr. Levlam, as a witness appearing before this chamber, Mr. Levlam, as a witness appearing before this chamber, You may refuse to respond through any question or request for comments or assertions from you that could incriminate yourself. That is your right against self-incrimination. And in order to help you in this process, we grant you a duty council. That is in collaboration with the WISU, so that you can seek consultation with this duty council. So that you can seek consultation with this duty council. So that you can seek consultation with this duty council. So that you can seek consultation with this duty council. So that you can seek consultation with this duty council. So that you can seek consultation with this duty council. So that you can seek consultation with this duty council. So that you can seek consultation with this duty council. So that you can seek consultation with this duty council. So that you can seek consultation with this duty council. So that you can seek consultation with this duty council. So that you can seek consultation with this duty council. So that you can seek consultation with this duty council. So that you can seek consultation with this duty council. So that you can seek consultation with this duty council. So that you can seek consultation with this duty council. So that you can seek consultation with this duty council. So that you can seek consultation with this duty council. So that you can seek consultation with this duty council. So that you can seek consultation with this duty council. So that you can seek consultation with this duty council. So that you can seek consultation with this duty council. So that you can seek consultation with this duty council. So that you can seek consultation with this duty council. So that you can seek si vous voulez ou non répondre à la question posée. And now on the obligation as a Passons witness to appear before this chamber, en tant que témoin. you must respond to vous all the questions put to you by any of the parties or any judge of the bench, and par you must tell the truth that vous you have dire la vérité have recalled, sur ce que experienced, vous avez vu, or observed, entendu, directly, vécu, in relation ou observé, to any event put to you through the uh, questions by the parties or the bench, 
Do you understand en that your right and obligation as a witness appearing before this chamber? Par les juges ou par les parties. Comprenez-vous vos droits et obligations? Answer. Réponse. I do not understand it, Mr. President. Je n'ai pas compris, Monsieur le Président. President, once again, le Président, you have the répète, right not to vous avez le droit de vous abstenir that de répondre à you. une question. And if you think it is si this kind of question, you may consult with the duty counsel, and then it is up to Dans you to respond or not to respond to this kind of question. Si and you have question. the obligation to respond Par to other ailleurs, questions put to you by the parties or the bench, except in the case that you may think your response could parties, incriminate sauf you. Dans le cas de figure précité, à savoir and que vous you must only a tell the truth that you have heard vous devrez dire la vérité sur ce que vous avez vu, entendu, vécu ou observé directement en rapport avec les événements faisant l'objet des questions que vous poseront les juges ou les parties. Avez-vous compris Le témoin. À présent, j'ai compris. Et je vais déjà répondre Based on what I have uh, experienced, have observed, Je répondrai en fonction de ce que j'ai vécu et observé et en fonction des souvenirs President, thank you. que j'ai gardés. Mr. Lev-Lam, during Merci. the last few Monsieur years, had you been interviewed by investigators of the Office of the Co-Investigating Judges? And if so, how many times, when and where? Si oui, à combien de reprises? Et and so, quand et où I gave an interview réponse. at my house in July I think, July, I think, but I cannot Je recall it uh, exactly. Juillet, I was interviewed once. Pas exactement. J'ai été entendu une fois. And uh, question: Was it at your house question. in Chakasanke in Chakasanke, Mianche? Au village de Chakasanke, commune de Chakasanke, district uh, yes, de Chakasanke, Mianche. Answer: Yes, that is correct. Question: oui. Can you recall the year, the year of your interview? En quelle année était-ce Est-ce que vous vous en souvenez Answer. Réponse. It was in 2008. C'était en 2008. Thank you, Mr. Leiflam. Le président. Merci, M. Leiflam. Avant d'entrer dans le prétoire, have you read a review? or listen through the written record of your interview with investigators at your house in 2008 in order to refresh your memory? Est-ce qu'on vous l'a lu pour vous rafraîchir la mémoire? Il s'agit de l'audition qui a eu lieu chez vous en 2008. Réponse. I was interviewed and the counsel actually assisted me in reading the written record but I could not read it uh, fully and I was assisted by the counsel. President, to your best knowledge, do you Question. think the written record vous, of the interview actually reflected your responses during your interview with the investigators of the office at the co-investigating judges in 2008? Des coaches en 2008. Answer. Réponse. Yes, uh, the written record oui. uh, is similar to Le what I told them, but there is a à ce que dit, one point in the written of the interview which is incorrect, and I need to uh, clarify that. Erreur faut President, thank rectifier. you. During the le questioning President. of 
Merci. C'est l'accusation qui pourra interroger le témoin L'accusation et les convocats principaux pour les partis civils disposent d'une demi-journée pour leur interrogatoire de ce proceed. témoin. Je vous en prie. Uh, thank you, le coprocureur. Uh, Mr. President. Merci, Good morning, Monsieur le Président. Honors, Bonjour, council, Mesdames, Messieurs uh, les parties. juges, chers confrères et partis. Uh, Mr. President, if I may start by uh, uh, presenting to the witness a copy of his OCIJ interview, uh, document D-125-125-2, uh, with your leave, if I could have this uh, submitted to the witness. Avec votre autorisation, j'aimerais faire remettre ce document au témoin. Le Président, vous y êtes autorisé. Huissier d'audience, veuillez aller chercher ce document et le remettre au témoin. Good morning, Mr. Levlam. My name is Dale Isaac. I am one of the international prosecutors and will have some questions for you this morning. I wanted to follow up first on uh, something that you just mentioned uh, to the President. Uh, which is you indicated that there was one part of your interview that you wished to correct. Could, could you tell us um, what part of the interview it is um, that you uh, wish to correct at this time? Réponse. I want to correct uh, one point that I walked near the prison and I saw the buried et que vu and in the written record it stated that i saw the verbal, event que twice but vu in cet fact, événement de fois mais en fait j'en ai été témoin une seule fois okay, thank you um, and mr witness will le co uh, get to uh, uh, the events uh, that um, you may be referring to in a little while. Nous allons revenir sur cet Let me start with a few que questions que vous regarding évoquer. the uh, period uh, prior to April 1975. In your uh, first answer, in your interview with OCIJ, de ce verbal, a document D-125-68, you stated as follows, quote, in 1972, I worked as a militiaman in Sfai Chuk commune, de la commune de Sfai Kampong Tralak Lu district, district de alias Kampong District 12. Le, appelé district I worked 12. as a militiaman from 1972 de la de to 1975. À I demobilized in mid-1975 and returned to a mobile et commune unit. Now, the district that you indicate uh, that you worked as a commune militiaman uh, was called uh, Kampan Trolak Lu District or District 12 in 1975. Is this the same district that is currently named Samake Mianche District? Kampong Tralak Le district is the same as the Samaki Mianche district. Previously, it was known as Kampong Tralak Le, and the current name is Samaki Mianche district. Thank you. Can you briefly describe for the court the work or tasks that you were assigned to do as a commune militiaman in Sfai Chuk 
commune uh, from 1972 to up to April 1975. Réponse. From 1972, I Did you ever engage in any combat with law and order forces in the 1972 to 75 period? Entre 72 et 75. No, I did not engage any in any combat. Je n'ai participé à aucun combat. I was assigned to engage in the production at the rear de m'occuper de production à l'arrière. And were you Question. located in a certain area of, of the commune? Can you tell us what village you were based in? partie donnée de la commune. Dans quel village étiez-vous? At that time, Réponse. I stationed through village. Au sud It was du about 300 meters from the village. À environ 300 mètres du village. Who was the uh, superior to who you to whom you reported? Quel était votre uh, in the Sfaichuk commune militia? Dans la milice de la commune de Sfaichuk. At that time, réponse. The chief was à l'époque, le chef s'appelait Sron et il y avait aussi Nan. What were the Question. positions that were held by Sron and Nan? Quelles étaient les fonctions de Sron et de Nan? Nan was chief of the Swai Chuk Chung commune and de la commune de Sron was Chuk the Chung, district committee. Sron était le comité de district. Before we get to Question. the events of 17 April 1975, I have a few more questions about the questions. Uh, Kampanchalaklu district, Sur that area and, and its history. Were, my first question, were, were you aware uh, of the capture of Udong town été au by the Khmer Rouge in 1974? I knew that Réponse. People were evacuated after Phnom Penh fell. Les gens ont été évacués après la prise de Phnom Penh, mais à l'époque j'étais à l'arrière. Before we get to Phnom Penh, I had a question related to Udong. Je vous ai posé une question sur Udong. Do you do you recall or were you aware of the capture of Udong? a pris la prise d'Oudong par les Khmer Rouges. I knew about Réponse. that, but it was uh, actually Oudong was located in uh, Kampong Spu. Je l'ai su, mais en fait Oudong était site was situé located, dans was Kampong Spu. Quant à Long Vec, c'était dans la province de Kampong Chnang. J'étais au courant de ce qui se passait dans la province de Kampong Chnang, mais pas dans celle de Kampong Spu. 
a few questions about question. your, your district. Je voudrais poser quelques Was questions there, sur votre district. Uh, another commune in y avait-il dans le district de Kampong Tralak Pim une autre commune, commune celle de Pim I never heard of a PIM Je n'ai jamais entendu parler d'une commune qui s'appellerait PIM. Le coprocureur national. La prononciation n'était pas très bonne. C'était la commune de PIM. Le témoin, la commune de PIM était adjacente à yes, celle de Chuk. Je connais cette commune. And when you say it was adjacent, was it directly Question. to the Vous dites west était adjacente. of était Sfai Chuk commune? À l'ouest de la commune de Sfai Chuk? Yes, Réponse. it was located to the west oui. of Sfai Chuk, but it was adjacent to Chuk, it. Mais juste à côté. Mr. Witness, Question. there has been evidence in this trial that a procès, number of the top Khmer Rouge leaders had offices in the area of Pim commune des during the 1972 to April 1975 And I would like to ask you a few questions about that des questions à vous poser now. Uh, in a, a statement he gave in this trial on the 22nd of November 2011. 2011. This is a reference, Your Honours, to E1 e slash 14.1 at approximately 14 hours 54 minutes and 35 seconds. seconds. And Noon Chea stated Noon Chea uh, a déclaré ceci, je cite, to ensure an effective and ultimate success with the attack to liberate Phnom Penh, pour la de Pol Pot, Phnom Penh, the party secretary, Pol Pot, le secrétaire had du to parti, move to a base in Bong Talong, the south part of Talong, Trak Sedek sud village, du village de Trak Sedek, Pim commune, commune de Pim, Kampon Tralak district. District de Kampong Tralak. And perhaps, uh, Mr. Uh, Mr. President, to help le Président, uh, the witness with the names, uh, because I want to ask him about these locations, if I may provide to noms, the witness uh, the excerpt that I read from, uh, so that he can see the uh, Khmer uh, names of the location that I just provided with your leave. De la version écrite en Khmer de ces toponymes. President, you may proceed. Le Président, Indeed, and je vous en prie, allez-y. Monsieur d'audience, veuillez remettre ce document au témoin. And Mr. Witness, if you look at the part where I put the green a post-it marker, you will see the statement from Noon Chea in which he identified a base uh, that had been established by Pol Pot in a place described as Trak Sedek village in Pim commune. My question to you is, do you know this location? Response. I do not know this location. I think I was at a too low rank uh, to know anything about this. Only the senior people or leaders could have known this location. And aside from the office, Pol Pot office, uh, do you Et know uh, this village, village? Uh, Trak Sedek village? Is this a location Sedek? that you're familiar with? Le village en question? Response. I know Trak Sedek village. Le village de Trak Sedek.
In, in the same uh, part of the statement by Nun Che, uh, I just read to you, uh, he continued as follows, quote, when the revolutionary army was nearing Phnom Penh, Pol Pot moved to Kreng Dong, also known as B5, which was adjacent to Pim Commune, Kampan Tralak district, in Chanti village. My question uh, to you is, is not whether you know of the B5 office, but do you know the village, the location that is described by Nun Che here, Prang Dong and Chanti village? The village of Prang Dong and Chanti. The president. Uh, Witness, could you please hold on and counsel for Mr. Nguyen Thie? You may now proceed first. Counsel Son Arun. Good morning, Mr. President and Your Honours. May I ask uh, that Mr. Co-Prosecutor gives um, the document, the relevant document he is citing from to the counsel uh, for Mr. Nguyen Thie? And I think it is not fair to only deliver this document to the witness for examination when we uh, are not provided le document such a copy. Alors que les pas reçu copy. Uh, Mr. President, it's a transcript from this trial that is available to counsel. It's the same. For your information, it's the same the site uh, as I mentioned before, E1 slash 14.1. The trial transcript from 22 November 2011 uh, at the time is 14.54.35. Uh, may I proceed, Mr. President? Please continue. The President. The President, you may please. Uh, so my okay. question to you, Mr. Lev Lam, is, is not whether you knew of the B5 office, but whether you uh, can help us, whether you're familiar with the location that's described here, a village named Chanti village, and a possibly a commune named Krang Dong. Response. I know Krang Dong oui, village, village de Krang Dong. because I used to be there on several occasions in the Piem commune. Dans la commune de Piem. Yes, I know this place. Oui, je I bien. know Chirok. But je I know Krang Chirok Dong Stike. village. Je connais le village de Krang Dong. Mr. Q. Uh, Sampan in this trial has stated, and this is a reference from document E3 slash 27, E3 slash 27 uh, at Khmer 0015-66614, English 0015-67413. And French zero zero one five six 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 six. Q Sampan has stated that he and a number of other leaders, such as Nun Chea, were based at Pol Pot's headquarters in the period leading up to 17 April. 1975. My question to you is: Did you ever hear? Uh, during that time, that there were leaders, top leaders of the Khmer Rouge, such as Pol Pot, Nun Chea, and Q Sampan, uh, who were in Pim Commune uh, in that period. Response I have heard of them, but I never met them or saw them in person. And what, one more 
uh, reference before we get to the events of 17 April. And the testimony that was given uh, by Deutsch, Deutsch in this trial on the 20th of March 2012. And the reference here is E1 slash 51.1, E1 slash 51.1, trial transcript for 20 March 2012 at approximately 9 hours 20 minutes and 2 seconds. And again, Mr. President, with your leave, if I may uh, present this excerpt uh, to the witness uh, as so that he can see the specific location uh, that I want to ask him about. The President, oui. you may proceed. Mr. Witness, in the uh, a document that's just been handed to you again at the air, uh, section marked by a green marker, uh, Deutsch identified uh, the initial location of the headquarters of the special zone, the office of foreign vet in 1973, as being in Krang Beng village, Kim commune, Camp on Tralaclu district. Did you know a village in Pim? commune called Krang Beng. Donc connaissiez-vous un village du nom de Krang Beng? Bat yang tukar réponse. Response. Yes, oui, I know this place, uh, Krang Beng village. Krang Beng. Did you know that there was a question? Uh, special zone office or headquarters located at that village uh, in the 1973 time period. Response. No, I did not know that uh, location, the military location. I only know that uh, village, but Je not that village, particular location. And did you know who Vorn, Vorn Vet was in the period from 1972 to April 1975? Response. No, I didn't. No. I was in the commune and did not go to that area to get to know this person. Let me now turn to the events of 17 April 1975 and the ensuing weeks. First, can you tell us uh, where you were located on the 17th of April, 1975? Response. In 1975, I was still at the office where I would uh, cl uh, climb the palm trees uh, to pick up some palm juice, uh, and I was still working there. And is this the location that you mentioned to us earlier that was um, 300 meters south of Trak Sanke village? Response. Yes, it is correct. Did you witness evacuees from Phnom Penh arrive in your commune in the days after 
17 April 1975. Dans les jours qui ont suivi le 17 avril 1975. Response. Réponse. Yes, I oui. did. I saw evacuees were mainly from Kampong Chenang than from Phnom Penh. When did these people start arriving in your commune? How long after the 17th of April? Quand ces gens ont-ils commencé à arriver dans votre commune Combien de temps après le 17 avril Response. About a week after that period, uh, I saw them coming to my area. Environ une semaine après. And can you estimate approximately how many people or how many families um, you observed who were sent to Svai Chuk commune? Ont été envoyés, d'après vos observations, dans la commune de Svai Chuk. Response. Réponse. There were about uh, 200 families, Il y avait environ 200 some familles. still alive, some had disappeared. Certaines étaient en vie, d'autres ont disparu. Okay, we'll, we'll get to the issue of disappearances in a little while. Parlerons um, des disparitions plus tard. When the evacuees arrived in your co commune, uh, where did they stay? Response. These evacuees were placed in Chok Sankai village. village de Chok Sankai. Was there a particular Question. building that was used to uh, hold the evacuees? Uh, was there a temple or was there uh, some other buildings that were used uh, for the evacuees that arrived? Response. Response. These evacuees were not uh, placed in any proper shelter. No, they were made pour to évacuer. live in the, under the houses sous. of the villagers or took a refuge under the shade of Ou some trees. Sous un arbre. Well, thank you for that response. When the 17 April evacuees arrived in your commune. Were they required to provide their biographies? Response. I learned that Yes, uh, they were. Their biographies oui. uh, were asked uh, to produce by a person by the name of Son. Son would like uh, the Son 17 of April people Son to make their biographies, but the base people would not uh, be required uh, to produce such biographies. The person that you just identified who uh, instructed that biographies were to be obtained, Sron, was this the same person you identified earlier as a member of the district committee? C'est la personne que vous avez mentionné tout à l'heure comme faisant partie du comité de district. But response: Yes, uh, this is the same person. C'est le même Sron. I'd like now to read to you 
uh, a part of your interview with OCIJ. This is document D 125-68 at Khmer URN 00201414. 84 through 85 English 00 27 46 47 and French 00 and you made the following statement at this part of your interview Quote, Immediately after 17 April, I was still a militia man and was working with Nan. After receiving an instruction from the President, uh, Mr. Co-Prosecutor, could you please hold on? Counsel Cope is on his feet. Uh, he may proceed. Thank you, Mr. President. Good morning. Um, I object to objection. the prosecutor reading this specific passage. Um, of course, I am still aware of your ruling on issues relating to reading specific passages from uh, OCIJ statements. Um, I am objecting also for uh, appeal reasons, of course. Uh, but particularly also I'm uh, objecting because this passage is uh, an important passage uh, when it comes to um, the policy that the prosecution is trying to establish. In other words, in your terms, uh, Mr. President, Your Honours, we are, have reached a very sensitive moment already early in the questioning of this witness. And in addition to this, the witness has said that he has uh, uh, read his um, uh, statement earlier, so there's really no need to refresh his memory. Why not ask open questions when it comes to this uh, specific topic, like the prosecutor has been doing before? If I may respond, Mr. President, um, uh, first, this is a procedure that has been authorized by the court time and again. Second, counsel is perhaps mistaken about the passage. Uh, this is not uh, the sensitive issue that I think he's uh, uh, perhaps uh, he is confused about the passage I'm about to read. Uh, I will continue to, to ask to start with open questions. The witnesses now already indicated that biographies were directed, and now I'm going to follow up with a quote relating to the biographies and some more specific details. So I'm doing exactly uh, what the court has uh, authorized us to do, uh, and I think the counsel's objection is, is uh, improper. L'objection de la défense est infondée. The president, the objection by international co-counsel for Mr. Nunji is not sustained. Mr. Co-prosecutor has already been following the direction Le as guided la by the trial chamber during the last couple of years, so Mr. Co-Prosecutor, you may proceed. Thank you, Mr. President. Let me just start over with the uh, quote that I wanted to follow up with you. You stated, 
quote, af immediately after 17 April, I was still a militia man and was working with Nan. After receiving an instruction from Strong, Nan was taking the record of biographies of the 17 April people. Next, Nan asked Puis, all village Nan chiefs in communes to come de, de to the commune, meeting in which she told them to take records of biographies of the 17 April people de, in all villages. De, uh, end of quote. Peuple, gens, du peuple, du uh, in April, this statement, you refer to a meeting at which Donc, Nan, le témoin, vous faites ici who you earlier identified as the commune chief, a meeting in which Nan instructed the village chiefs to take biographies. Uh, where was this meeting held, if you recall? Où cette réunion a eu lieu, si vous vous en souvenez. Response. Réponse. These meetings were held at the réunions, office uh, which was located about a few hundred meters from the commune. It wasn't, they were not uh, conducted in the commune office itself. Le bureau de la commune. Were you present uh, at this meeting uh, where Nan asked all the village chiefs to take biographies from the evacuees. Response. The meetings were conducted in closed session, but during the meeting, I heard that their comrade Nan asked uh, people to provide their biographies, but I never been allowed to access to any of the biographies. And can you give us your best recollection, your best memory of how you heard that Nan had asked all the village chiefs to uh, collect biographies? Response. I was Réponse. near that place and I heard Nan told the village chief to collect biographies so that uh, they could be handed over to Sron, that's what I heard. Être remise à Sron. Voilà ce que entendu. Can you tell us where, where was uh, Nan's office located? Où était situé le bureau de Nan? Response: Nan's Réponse. office. Le bureau de Nan was was at the same place as where we worked actually there was not uh, there was not a, an office and uh, the militiamen were asked to work at the houses of the villagers because it was requested by the um, cadres, uh, they, are, they should be allowed to work there. Cadre. And in, in the statement that I just Question. read, you indicated that in the, in the period immediately after 17 April, you were still a militiaman and that you were working with Nan. When you say that you were working with Nan, did the commune militia report to her? Les de commune étaient sous ses ordres. Response. Réponse. It was 
nan who was in charge of um, discharging duties or tasks uh, to the militiamen, including delivering messages to people. So I was also under the instruction of this person. Did you have a, a position or rank in the commune militia at the time? Response. I was a simple or ordinary militiaman and did not uh, hold any significant rank. And I'm not sure whether I've asked you this or you've mentioned it already, so let me just confirm. Am I correct that Nan uh, was a female? de penser que Nan était une femme. Réponse. Response. Yes, oui. uh, she was. C'était une femme. A woman, cadre. Elle était cadre. Now, after the biographies had been uh, collected from the 17 April evacuees Question. in your commune. Uh, do you know uh, who the biographies were sent to and what they were used for? Response. I learned that Comrade Nan collected uh, the biographies from the village chief Nan who then handed over to Sron and I just did not know where else uh, these or to whom these uh, biographies could have been sent further. I'd like to read a, another statement uh, from your OCIJ interview, D125-68. This one is at Khmer 00201484, English 00274646. And French zero zero three three eight three six four. You state here quote when the seventeen April people from Phnom Penh arrived at District twelve, they were asked about their biography by cadres. Based on their answers, they were classified into two categories. The ordinary people, such as rice farmers, and non-ordinary people, such as soldiers, civil servants of law and capitalists. Can you tell me uh, how you became aware that the 17 April evacuees were separated based on their biographies into these two groups, the ordinary people and non-ordinary people, such as soldiers or civil servants of the Lon Nol regime. While I was still a militia man, je l'ai su alors que j'étais encore dans la milice. J'ai su qu'il y avait deux catégories. D'un côté, les paysans. And as for the soldiers, there were no needs to ask about the, the soldiers because the soldats, soldiers were considered to be in the opposed group. Ils étaient considérés comme faisant partie de l'autre camp. And do you remember how you learned uh, that the 17 Comment April evacuees 
were to be divided into these two groups. Were you at a meeting where this was discussed, or is this something you were told uh, by Nan or someone else in the commune? Vous l'aurez dit. Réponse. At the meeting, I was nearby and I à la réunion, j'étais à proximité. J'ai entendu Nan parler du classement en catégorie avec d'un côté work. les paysans qui devraient travailler. And when you said you were nearby Question. a meeting and vous dites heard que vous étiez à proximité d'une réunion uh, et que vous avez entendu that you mentioned earlier est ce que c'est la réunion dont vous avez déjà parlé ou bien s'agit-il d'une autre talking. I heard only once uh, during the meeting that à la I réunion, was nearby j'ai entendu cela une seule fois et j'étais à proximité. Can I ask you, did the Question. 17 April came du 17 avril to qui commune, sont arrivés à la commune de Spychuk comptaient-ils parmi servants eux from the regime? des soldats ou des fonctionnaires du régime de l'ONOL Réponse. As far as I know, because the Civil servants were living and mixing together with the soldiers during the evacuation. evacuation. And they came à ma to live in the village ils sont together. Venus vivre ensemble dans le village. For that reason, they needed to sort out their biography. Il fallait donc when the evacuees arrived in your commune, Question. did you see whether any of Quand them were wearing uh, uniforms, dans votre military commune, uniforms. Avez-vous vu si certains d'entre eux portaient un uniforme militaire? Through my knowledge, Question. there were some soldiers. À ma connaissance, il y avait For example, quelques soldats. There were 20 or 30 soldiers who came one day, but uh, on the next day they left and I didn't jour, know where they le lendemain, went. Sont partis. As for the people, people could stay there for one week or could stay les gens uh, much rester longer. Sur place une semaine ou bien plus longtemps. Did the um, district or commune leaders provide Les chefs any instructions or de la orders as to what was to be done with the 17 April evacuees who were identified as Monol soldiers, civil servants, comme des or capitalists? Ou des soldats de l'ONOL ou comme des capitalistes? During the Réponse. sorting of the people, I was not aware of the of it. Lors de later la on, sélection, I je n'en ai pas été au courant, mais plus tard, j'ai appris que les be put to one side, 17 avril qui étaient des paysans devaient être mis d'un côté. For the other people, they Quant be aux put autres, to another group. ils étaient placés dans un autre groupe. And later on, those people in the latter Par group suite, disappeared. Les gens du deuxième groupe ont disparu. I want to uh, read to you another Question. excerpt from your interview and follow up on, on this part. Audition. This is D125 slash 68 at Khmer 00. Two zero 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 one four eight four English zero zero two seven four six four six French zero zero three three 
8364, where you stated as follows, quote, the order of this operation was issued from commune and district chiefs. I heard with my ears that chief of district 12, Sron, told Srenan, chief of Svaichuk commune, to separate the people. Rice farmers had to be kept for work, and enemies had to be taken away, and capitalists had to be destroyed. Question, what was the meaning of destroy? Answer, at that time, all people knew that to destroy meant to kill. And then continuing a little later on the next page, you stated as follows, quote, Sron made a final decision for Nan to implement. With my ears, I heard that one of the decisions was to kill my uncle. At the time, I was so suffering. However, I could not say a word but shed tears. At that time, there was an order to kill approximately 100 families in early rainy season in 1975. This order was immediately implemented. End of quote. My first follow-up question is, where was it? President. The prosecution, please wait. The defense counsel, you may proceed. Again, Mr. President, for the record, this passage shouldn't have been read out. This is a crucial passage in the statement. We should have just been hearing open questions, open-ended questions. This is to reach in defense in a completely unacceptable way of um, getting information from a witness. So, for the record and for appeal reasons, we object strongly to this way of proceeding. Uh, Mr. President, this has been ruled on by the court. I had asked open La questions, and now I'm following up with details regarding the information the witness has provided. Uh, may I proceed? President, the Le objection is overruled. We, we actually ruled La Chambre on the approach of putting a question sur la manière before de mener chamber. The prosecution, you may continue. L'accusation peut poursuivre. Le coprocureur. You indicated in this statement that you heard um, vous dites a decision or order from uh, the uh, district leader, Sron. Including a decision relating to your uncle. Can you tell me where it was that you heard Sron and Nan have this conversation? I heard of the conversation when they cette conversation were in the meeting at that uh, Minister Junit's office. Au bureau de l'unité de la milice. And can you tell us, you indicate that your uncle was Christian. one of the people who was targeted. Des Who visées. was your uncle? What did he do prior to 17 April 1975? My uncle Réponse. was a Lunar soldier stationed de in, in, in Long Vec. Long Vec. And just Question. to clarify, you indicated that préciser, the choses, meeting where you heard these statements was held at a militia unit. A eu lieu Can you à um, uh, specify for us where this was, uh, where this meeting, the specific meeting took place? Was this in 
uh, Truk Sankei village, or is it outside the village? Ou à l'extérieur de ce village. It actually was Réponse. held outside the village à at the du village. location of the militia unit where I lived. De unité de la milice où uh, do you remember approximately how many people Question. were present at this meeting? Combien de personnes environ étaient à la réunion? In that meeting, there were about uh, ten, a little bit uh, more than uh, ten people. Il y avait un peu plus de dix personnes à cette réunion. And who, who were the people who were who were present other than Qui ces gens? Um, Nan and Sron, Hormis who you've already uh, identified? Who were the other people who vous avez were present parlé. at this meeting? Quelles autres personnes étaient à la réunion? Participants in that Réponse meeting when I was réunion, nearby, alors que I saw proximité, village chiefs and uh, village, cadres subordinated to them, qui étaient placés sous leur contrôle. So most of them were the village chiefs de ces gens des chefs de village from Sfai Chung Chun. De Sfai Chung Chun. Uh, after this Question. meeting, uh, Mr. Witness, what happened réunion, to the 17 April evacuees who had been identified avril, as law and all soldiers, civil servants, or capitalists? What happened to them? Ou des soldats de Lonol, ou comme des capitalistes. Que leur est-il arrivé? After the meeting and after the sorting Réponse. out of the biographies, uh, some of those people la réunion disappeared. Après avoir réglé la question des biographies, certaines personnes ont disparu. They were smashed. Elles ont été éliminées. Uh, what about your uncle? Question. Can you tell us your uncle who was a, de votre oncle a soldier? What happened to him? Était soldat? Que lui est-il arrivé? My uncle Réponse. came to meet me at my house. Mon oncle est venu me voir chez moi. To, uh, flee. Je lui ai dit de s'enfuir. But he said he to flee. Mais il a dit qu'il ne voulait pas le faire. Three days later, he Trois jours was plus taken tard, away and il a été killed. emmené et exécuté. Are you able to? Question. Can you tell us? Um, the location where these people were taken to, where they were killed. Savez-vous à quel endroit ces gens ont été emmenés pour y être exécutés? The location Réponse. where my uncle and other people were Mon killed et les was to the été west of the village. It village. was about three or four kilometers à to the west of the village. À du village. I want to make a uh, question. Ask you about another uh, statement in your OCIJ interview. This is at D125 slash 68 at Khmer 00201486 English 00274646. And French et en français, 00 00 33 33 83 66 And you were asked about um, 
whether you were present at the execution site si vous étiez and you responded as follows, de et voici la que vous uh, avez donné. quote, I was once ordered to take people Une fois, to that place, on donné quote, des gens end of quote, can you tell us uh, who it was that ordered you Qui to transport people to that execution site? Des gens vers ce lieu d'exécution. At that time, Réponse. the village chief, by the name of Le Un, chef du Ta Un, qui s'appelait Ta Un, who instructed me to, to go with him, instruction de la that is to bring people to the front, pour the survivors told, emmener des gens vers le front, comme on disait. So I went along with a, another militia man. J'y suis allé avec un autre membre de la milice. And we stopped at a meeting place. Nous nous sommes place. arrêtés And à un lieu de réunion. Were tied Ces gens and ont taken été away ligotés et emmenés pour être exécutés. But when I reached the location, Quand je the suis arrivé sur place, les soldats there. du district y étaient so déjà. We only the off there, Nous avons seulement déposé les gens we were sur not place, to allow to do anything mais or to on go ne away. nous a pas laissé faire quoi que ce soit, ni partir. The group of people um, that uh, were transported or Le were taken to the execution site uh, by the village chief and yourself and another militiaman, uh, how many people were in that group? Membre de la milice? Combien étaient-ils? The group that I Réponse. took them, there was a total of about 20 other people, including young children. I Au total, il y avait dans ce groupe que nous avons emmené 20 another personnes, village, y compris des enfants. Je pensais qu'ils étaient transférés spot. vers un autre village, mais en réalité, ils ont été emmenés là-bas. Where the district military les soldats du district there. étaient déjà sur place. J'étais effrayé. So I stood at one place and later on je suis resté à un endroit. Ensuite, je suis rentré. How was this Question. group of 20 people uh, taken Ce groupe to the execution site? De quelle manière um, été did, you, did you walk them there or did you use vehicles? Les avez-vous accompagnés à pied ou bien avez-vous utilisé des véhicules? For those people with ox carts, they would uh, drive the ox carts and some qui walked une on a foot. À bœuf la conduisaient, tandis Until que d'autres marchaient. That, uh, execution point. Nous sommes ensuite arrivés sur les lieux de l'exécution. And just to Question. clarify. The execution site where you took these people to. Pour que tout soit bien uh, clair, is this the place you identified as being about three or four kilometers que vous avez west of comme étant situé à trois ou Trak Sanke village? À l'ouest du village de Trak Sanke. Ah. Réponse. Yes, uh, that was the location. C'est exact. C'est cet endroit là. And you just indicated Question. that when you arrived at this site, vous êtes that there were already district soldiers there. Ce que vous avez dit, uh, how il many avait district déjà soldiers des were there? Du district. Combien étaient-il? Uh, 
réponse. Il y avait un groupe de soldats du district. Ils étaient douze. Were these people that uh, the district soldiers? Were these people that you knew or, or had seen before? Connaissiez-vous ces soldats du district? Les aviez-vous déjà vus? I Réponse. saw those uh, district soldiers before. J'avais vu auparavant ces soldats du district. I saw them around 1973 or 73. Ou 74 et je connaissais certains d'entre eux, mais je ne les connaissais que de vue. Je ne connaissais pas leur nom car ils changeaient de nom en permanence. Question. À l'époque, saviez-vous qui était le chef des soldats du district I did not know the commander. Je ne connaissais pas le chef. I only knew some of those uh, district Je soldiers. Je connaissais and seulement there were a certains number des soldats du district. district. Il y avait plusieurs commandants them. au niveau du district, mais je ne les connaissais pas. And I wanted to also ask Question. you about the when it was that this uh, event took place. À quel moment um, cet approximately how long after 17th of April 1975? Uh, how long after that was it that uh, you took le 10 avril this group of 20 people to this execution site? Après combien de temps, par rapport au 17 avril 75, avez-vous emmené ce groupe de 20 personnes à ce site d'exécution? It was in 1975. C'était en 1975. Vers le mois de juin. C'est à ce moment-là qu'on m'a demandé d'emmener ces gens. You Question. Told us a few minutes ago that Il y a minutes, uh, when you arrived at the execution site, que quand vous êtes sur the le site people in the group of 20 were tied up and then Ces taken away. Ont été uh, who, was, puis uh, who was it that tied them up? Qui a ligoté ces gens? First, I Réponse. Saw only ten people Tout d'abord, j'ai vu seulement 10 personnes se faire away, ligoter et emmener. Les deux autres untied, sont restés non ligotés. Les enfants non plus n'étaient pas ligotés. Ce the sont the les soldats du district qui ont ligoté ces gens. Can you describe Question. for us how they were when you say that they were tied, Vous tied up, how were they tied? Étaient ligotés. De quelle manière exactement étaient-ils ligotés? I was nearby. They were tied up with près. the hands behind Ils their back by a scarf or chroma. Les mains derrière le dos, attachées par un chroma. I was doing that. And then they were walked away. Ensuite, on les a fait marcher and who was it that les a took de cette the manière. ten people Question. who was it that took them away after Qui a uh, ces they had been tied up une fois qu'elles avaient été ligotées actually the, the ones who tied them up walked them away les gens they were qui part ont of the, uh, that uh, personnes c'était des membres du groupe de soldats du district. And Question. what can you tell us about what happened uh, to these 10 people after they were tied up and taken away by the district soldiers? Qu'est-il arrivé à ces 10 personnes 
après qu'elles eurent été ligotées et emmenées par les soldats du district. Que, que pouvez-vous nous dire à ce sujet Après qu'elles ont été ligotées, elles ont bien sûr été emmenées et exécutées. Avez-vous des informations sur la manière dont ces personnes ont été tuées I did not know how Réponse. They were killed. Je ne savais pas comment But later ces on, gens I learned that avaient été they used tués, mais par la suite, j'ai appris qu'on avait utilisé un bâton, they did not use ou bullets to un shoot them because that would uh, break their secrecy. They used clubs or On n'utilisait pas de balles car cela aurait trahi le secret. Them Ils utilisaient un bâton de bambou ou une barre How did you pour les frapper. Comment avez-vous appris que des bâtons ou des morceaux de bambou ou uh, des axes de that? charrette à bœuf ont été utilisés pour tuer ces gens Comment l'avez-vous su I learned that as I was Réponse. told by other people, I did not witness dit, it myself. Je ai pas été témoin they told me that they did not use anything but only these tools, including the, the bamboo stab. And they did not utilisés, y compris des bâtons de bambou. On m'a dit que ces gens n'avaient pas été tués par balle. Cela, je l'ai appris plus tard. Was this something you were told by some of the district soldiers who were there? Est-ce que certains des du district qui étaient présents vous l'ont dit? Réponse. The district soldiers did not tell me. Les soldats du district ne me l'ont pas dit. It is likely that that was the way they killed the people. Mais il est probable que c'est ainsi qu'ils exécutaient les gens. Le président interrompt. La parole est à la défense. Thank you, Mr. President. Merci. May I invite you to instruct the witness not to speculate. Je vous prie de demander aux témoins de ne pas émettre des hypothèses du type "il est probable qu'ils aient été tués de cette façon". Il faudrait dire aux témoins de déposer uniquement sur ce qu'il a vu ou entendu personnellement. Uh, Mr. President, if I may respond, the witness has already indicated that he was uh, told this by someone. I'm following up on that. Uh, I think it's rather premature for counsel to be on his feet, uh, making submissions that are speculative when the witness has indicated that this is information he learned from someone. I'm in the process of, of asking the witness about that, uh, so I'd ask to uh, be able to proceed. Le témoin a dit avoir appris cela de la bouche de quelqu'un d'autre et j'étais en train d'interroger le témoin à ce sujet. Je demande donc à le être autorisé à poursuivre. Thank you. Le président. And first of all, the chamber Merci. wishes to now remind the witness that uh, in his testimony, he should refrain from using the term such as um, which suggests a speculative response and witness is advised uh, to respond to all questions based on his um, experiences and the events he bore witness uh, to otherwise his testimony would uh, not be considered as a valid or lack of property value It is now appropriate moment already for the adjournment. The chair will adjourn for 20 minutes. The next session will be resumed by 10 to 11. Court officer is now directed to assist the witness and his jury counsel during the adjournment and have them return to the courtroom 
Il va récupérer du témoin et de son avocat pendant la pause. Suspension d'audience. Somme-toi une grande chose.